Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales, coming to you out of beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Look at that sky today, a little overcast, a few clouds in the sky, but it's going to be another great day. So, here's what I got. Just took this unit on trade, and I thought, you know what? It doesn't need much. It really don't even need clean. It's It was dropped off rather uh, clean. Guy kept it inside, so I thought... We'll go ahead and post it for sale. We normally don't until we get done with the full detail, but this guy is gonna go pretty quick, so wanted to get him out there. Um, took some photos, posted them online yesterday. Already had some people asking for a video, so figured we would go ahead and give it a whirl. So here's what we got. 2005 Renegade. It's a 32-foot conversion behind the cab, so 43-foot, I believe, overall length on the motorhome part. Uh, full body paint, as you can see, like a tuxedo black with a little metallic in it, silver red, drop visor with hidden lights there over the windshield. Super nice condition, guys. Uh, 2005 Motorhome Renegade, 41,000 original miles with a 2013 vintage 26-foot uh, stacker. Um, steer tires are were replaced in 2022 this year. Uh, they're Yokohama's and um great condition probably got i don't know 3,000 miles or, or less on them um freightliner columbia chassis as you can see uh we've got two awnings i'll kind of move out where you can see it here a little better so two awnings on the um outside of the truck they're both electric and they both work great we've got a little outdoor entertainment uh center with one of the uh, Norcold electric fridges, We've got a little TV, it is a smart TV, uh, Sony CD player, and a DVD player that ties into it. Two slides, we've got uh, one slide up in the main living area, the coach, and then we've got the rear slide that comes out of the bedroom in the back. Um, again, the trailer, 26 foot stacker, painted when the coach was painted, so they both match each other. Um, 31 foot overall length of the trailer, so it's like five foot of tongue and a 26 foot box. Um, we've got a Stinger lift inside. The lift is 13 foot long. I'm not sure the capacity. I'm gonna guess probably around 4,000 pounds by looking at the size of it. Um, that is a guess, I haven't verified that. Rubber coin floor. Um, we've got little cabinet, little set of overhead cabinets. And there is room if you wanted to put like a you know, a set of wall cabinets over there or some cabinets in the front. We do uh, keep some of that in stock and can get, get them uh, rather quickly. So uh, ramp door, the trailer does have hydraulic landing gear on the front, so you can jack the front of the trailer up to get the back end down lower. Um, again, ramp door is just spring loaded, super easy to open up. Uh, 11 foot interior height, so that's 11 foot from the rubber coin to the ceiling. Um, they've got a little air conditioning system, like a little portable AC unit up there that actually is vented. Uh, as you can see up there, that vent, it's vented outside the trailer. So uh, puts out decent amount of air, carpeted walls. Um, again, very simple, basic interior on this guy. Um, does have an awning on the side. Now the awning on the trailer is manual. You gotta pull the little, um, the little tether strap and the awning pulls out. Uh, 12,000 watt PowerTech diesel generator, which has the little Caterpillar engine on it. I believe around 2,100 hours, we just serviced it. Uh, so full service on that. Um, the, um, again, the coach is two slides. You've got one slide here on the, the main living area, then the second slide again on the back. Uh, down below, we've got storage compartments your batteries and your sewage tanks and stuff are on this side. Um, cab, super nice shape. The uh, the paint, uh, you can tell it's been kept inside. It's got a good amount of clear coat on it as well. So wanted to give you a little outside overview. Um, we are 74 foot, three inches long, nose to tail. That's with the truck and trailer combined. So 74 foot, three inches overall. That's like a 43 foot truck uh, or motorhome and a 31 foot, three inch trailer, I think. So 74 foot three, I believe was the overall. Uh, we've got a couple little things to do to it before it leaves that we've seen when we done our inspection. But I mean, overall, um, the trucks had quite a few recent updates in it. 
Uh, the furniture is all flex steel, all original furniture and super nice condition. So um, when you come up, it is a mid entry. So you come up through the door there on the passenger side, you've got a uh, sofa that turns into a jackknife bed. So uh, makes a super comfortable place for someone to sleep there. Um, the TVs, uh, there's one in the bedroom and then one in the main living area and the outdoor TV were all replaced last year. Uh, this is probably a 50 or 55 inch uh, Samsung in the main living area. And again, um, it was replaced along with a new Sony receiver and a DVD player. And the reason that's notched like that is uh, it's made for the DirecTV receiver. The, um, the DirecTV system was also replaced. The satellite dome was replaced last year. So all that's uh, brand new. All right, so up above the cab, we've got the uh, bunk. So it's got a bunk for one or two people to sleep comfortable. Brand new mattress. We've got the ladder up there. Um, so this truck does have air ride, uh, driver and passenger seat in the cab. Um, it's a 450 horsepower Mercedes. That it's one main key component to this video I did not mention yet. Um, so 450 horsepower Mercedes uh, with a 12 speed auto shift transmission, no clutch pedal, uh, super easy to drive. It's similar to driving just a pickup truck. So you hit the brake pedal, drop the little lever into gear and uh, ease into the throttle and there you go. There's no clutch pedal to, to worry about. It does all the shifting on its own. So when you drive this truck, you're going to sound like the best shifter there ever was. You'll never miss a gear, I promise you. Uh, as you can see down there near the keys, you've got an electric brake controller. So, um, and the truck is plumbed with um, the glad hand fittings to where if you had a trailer that was air ride or air brake, uh, you could um, hook that up and, and run all that. Uh, it is a twin screw chassis, so that means both axles on the rear uh, do drive. It's not a tag axle, and uh, both axles do have locking differentials in them too. So uh, it's got all the right bells and whistles, components, uh, low mileage, good horsepower, and, and everything. Um, so uh, behind the driver's seat, we've got uh, the big slide out, what I call a super slide. It's probably a 14 or 15 foot slide. Uh, we've got another sofa here with uh, capability of turning into a jackknife bed. We've got a dinette uh, that also turns into a bed. So the middle leaf on the table drops down, the cushions move in towards each other, and it makes another nice bed. So literally in this, you have a bed here, a bed here, a bed over here, and a bed above there, and then the queen-size mattress in the back. Um, it's got a real simple kitchen. You've got a, um, a double bowl sink. Uh, under this one, you've got a two burner uh, gas cooktop. And then we've got a convection uh, microwave oven there. So you can bake in it or you can do just regular microwave. Um, spin around to this side and we've got the, um, the fridge on the bottom, freezer on the top. Nice, clean uh, setup there. This is a mid bath. So um, in the bathroom, you've got the vanity sink area, um, medicine cabinet, mirror, and how about this shower? So this is like a little tub almost. Uh, fiberglass, one piece, very easy to keep clean, but you've got like a little tub with a stopper and everything. So you can get a little kid you need to give a bath to or just want to take a bath yourself. You've got all that, the capabilities of, of doing that there. So skylight above the shower. Uh, we'll jump back here. We've got the, um, the water closet, we'll call it, with the toilet in it. A vent over top, nice lighting. Um, again, something I didn't mention earlier, this coach has wainscoting on the lower part. So you can see the, the wood there uh, stained to match, and then it's got the padded uh, gray-colored vinyl on the, the upper side. Lots of storage. So to be a 43-foot coach, we've got lots of storage options um, all through it. Closet spaces. Uh, they looks like down here they've got a couple little wire baskets that um, that'll pull out to put your dirty laundry or, or whatever in. Um, something I was going to make sure I pointed out, there used to be carpet in the bedroom and the previous owner just recently changed that. So they did pull the carpet out and put tile in. Um, new Samsung TV. Um, so that slide back there, you know, this back wall moves out and you've got nothing but a huge uh, wardrobe with uh, drawers and uh, storage compartments, uh, plenty of space to, to hang your clothing and, and have it all organized. 
Um, of course, going down the road, you know, this comes in and closes the gap here by the bed. So, but it, one thing that's neat about it, you can still access uh, the end of the bed and then this side of the bed. And so going down the road, if you were pulling over for the night uh, to get some rest, you could um, you could easily do that. And, and the slide, I mean, it's literally a matter of 45 seconds or less to run the slide out. So that's easy too. Uh, same deal back here in the bedroom. We've got a Sony DVD player, and then that's notched like that because it's made to um, to fit one of the Direct TV receivers. So the Direct TV receiver is the wider one on the bottom, and then the DVD sets above it, right up neatly in the little slot like that. Um, super clean inside and out. A nice full length mirror there on the wall. Of course, uh, pocket sliding doors, um, so you can pull those out and um, close off of the bedroom for privacy. Another pocket door you can see here, uh, which separates the mid bath from the living area. I uh, believe we covered everything. Uh, again, I try to make these videos not super long, 10 or 12 minutes is what we're looking for, but I uh, just wanna give you a general idea of what we're selling. Uh, this one here is in, um, in really good condition uh, for its age. Again, it's a 2005 Renegade uh, it's called a 3200, which means it's 32 foot conversion from uh, the uh, the cab here back to the rear. Uh, again, it's about 43 foot, I believe, overall. Freightliner Columbia chassis, 41,750 miles, um, 450 horsepower Mercedes in it with the uh, 12 speed auto shift transmission. So uh, we'll go outside and do one more quick spin around the outside in case you. Missed anything on the first part there. Uh, full body paint. I, I was told it was painted in 2018. I don't have any verification of that, but you can tell um, by the condition of it. Uh, very, very, very nice shape. Good amount of clear coat on it. Again, we haven't even detailed it yet. We're gonna detail it and polish the wheels out before it leaves. Um, but make someone a, a neat setup and I think it's cool that they match. So you see a lot of, you know, a white, uh, white combos and you see a lot of, um, you know, a white truck with a gray trailer or whatever, but this guy goes right together. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales. We're based out of Paducah, Kentucky. We're a couple hours um, northwest of Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, we're about three hours southeast of St. Louis. So easy to get to uh, if you want to come check it out. You could uh, fly actually directly into Paducah, or you could come to um, to Nashville, and we can pick you up down there and, and get you up here. So we also deliver nationwide. We um, we offer financing, and we do accept trades. So give me a shout if there's anything I can help you with. My cell phone number, 270-556-8461. And um, check us out at race-haulers.com. We're on Instagram, Facebook. And do me a huge favor. If you can hit that subscribe button on YouTube, that helps us out a lot. Uh, so we finish up here. If you wouldn't mind hitting that uh, subscribe button again, that that uh, really helps us, our channel grow and, and gets more viewers on our videos. So Dylan Thompson, again, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day and uh, we'll uh, be posting another video here soon. Thank you.